Entertainment. It's a great day to be here at Express Hookah Lounge located in Hollywood, Florida. Be sure to check out Express Hookah Lounge, you guys, when you're in Hollywood, Florida, you're in the area. Great vibes. You guys have to check this place out. Again, that is Express Hookah Lounge. We got a great guest in store lined up for you today. We have none other than DJ Breezy. Listen, she's all the way live, you guys. Stick and stay. If you want more information about us, log on to www.sinkstosinktv.com, our internet, our Facebook, Instagram, all of our social media platforms are at Sinks to Sink TV. I'm your host, B. I can be located on Instagram at B Longchamp. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Saints to Saint TV. I'm your host, B. I have the pleasure of being here with DJ Breezy. Hey, guys. Listen, <laughs> it's a pleasure to have you here on the show. Not only because you're a young woman of African descent, African <laughs> diaspora, but you're a woman in the DJ industry. Yes. That's pretty dope. Thank right? you. It's very few, few little, like not mm -hmm. a lot of people. No. Of just women, not a lot of us. Right? Our, our gender is in that industry. So we're going to get right into it. What got you into being a DJ in the first place? Hmm, so I got into DJing when I moved out here in 2018. Um, I came here for school originally. I've always been musically inclined. I grew up playing the piano, Ooh. violin, and the electric guitar. Nice. I even had my own band growing up, and I was in like musicals and plays and different things like that. Oh my god, what's and your favorite chorus. musical? Um, Annie. I love Annie. I'm, yeah. a, I'm a musical junkie. I went too. to New York to see it. It was like, nice. it was on really Broadway. Good. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. Yeah. All right, I love sorry. things like that. No, you're good. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I got into DJing when I moved out here. Um, in high school, I was always the one holding down the ox, and I liked nice. having my own parties and events, and I just decided to go for it, and I really love it. So your parents didn't frown upon you transitioning from school so nope i'm just gonna be a dj um at first they were like are you sure and they were like oh you need a backup plan but i believe that if you really follow your follow your dreams and you put the work in then you don't need a backup plan Ooh, nice nice so djing that's a tough industry especially in miami mm -hmm. you know and i'm not from here either ah. so like building my brand literally from scratch right. and like going out and networking and it being in a male dominated industry, they're always like, oh, you think you can DJ? Like, it feels like you always kind of have to prove yourself, but I put the work in in my um, work ethic shows. Wow, so let's talk about that, let's back up for a little bit because we know being a DJ in this industry, being, listen, we still don't have equality <laughs> when it comes to our gender roles mm -mm. and in the workplace and every arena that you can think of. So I can almost imagine what you're faced with in the entertainment industry and DJing at that. Absolutely. It's very, I'm sure it's very, very tough. And in Miami. Yeah. So any any mm -hmm. stories of, without saying any names, mm -hmm. where you had to really put your <coughs> foot down and prove yourself? Um, I think artists, like, um, they try to approach me at different times and I'm always like business first and I feel like that's why I'm respected because they know that I'm serious about my craft and I don't mix business with pleasure. Love it, 
for sure. Love it, love it. And then also like being a um, a female in the industry, like we'll have different gigs and out. And I've recently started only a couple years ago, and I can be in the same room as some people that have been DJing for years or nice. people that I still look up to, and they're like, oh, like they're shocked or they just like expecting like they're like what to expect or just and it's just like you got to just got to put yourself out there and just do your job and that's what I do every time awesome have you ever mixed your music talents while DJing I've never seen that done before wait have I um yeah, I recently people. started oh, Haitian, making... Haitian DJs do that all the time <laughs> <laughs> yeah they do that. Do you, have you ever <laughs> um I have a friend his name is Justin Michaels he um attended UM also he recently graduated and he wait was... you were attending UM yes okay that's what brought me out here I'm a king my daughter always say throw it up and catch okay. it okay all wrong. about the you throw it up and catch it yes, yes. <laughs> But um, we've collaborated. He's like, we'll do his drum set while I've DJed, and that nice. was that was pretty sick. So yes. I want to keep doing that. And I also recently started making music as well. So not only do I DJ, but I'm an artist as well. Love it. Yeah. Okay. So the merge is there because you you have the <laughs> fundamentals anyway. You're mm -hmm. not not saying that there's anything wrong with someone who don't have the fundamentals, but it's even better when you do have the fundamentals mm -hmm. because you know what you're working with. Absolutely. Some of the greats who do you look up to. Angie Martinez, DJ Spinderella, mm. DJ Khaled. Um, honestly, I look up to all DJs and people in the entertainment or music media industry because it's a tough industry to get in. And I feel like um, like creatives, whether you're in front of the camera or behind the camera, also everybody works together. It's like one team, one dream. So I applaud everybody that even steps out and puts herself in that position. Nice, love it, love it. Thanks to Sync TV. We are here at Express Hookah Lounge. We have the pleasure of speaking with DJ Breezy. We'll be right back in just a few. I'm your host, B. We are here at Express Hookah Lounge located in Hollywood, Florida. Be sure to check out Express Hookah Lounge when you're in the area. It is a vibe. Check it out for yourself. DJ Breezy. Yes. DJ Breezy is in the building here at Express <laughs> Hookah Lounge. You're so calm. Mm -hmm. I can't even imagine you saying, come on, let's go. <laughs> can you, can, I'm a you, different person behind the booth. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So you got to work yourself to that. You can't just sporadically just do it. I mean, yeah, I kind of got to I gotta feel off the energy, you know. It's a different vibe, like when that mixer board in front of me and the laptop. Yeah? Yeah. Ah, so you don't do the vinyl? No, no I do don't do the, the vinyl. CDs, mm -mm. Which, which someone just told me that there's like you, it takes more precision to do the CD than the vinyl. Hmm. Ah, yeah, someone just told me based on the texture of it. <laughs> Shout out to Harry. He <laughs> killed me a little bit. So... Music DJing. People don't realize the artistry that comes behind. Listen, if you don't have a dope DJ, your mm. wedding is trash. <laughs> Bar mitzvah, trash. Mm -hmm. What else? Even artists trying to, even like artists when you're trying to get your music out there, that you have to realize like the DJ is vital to that. We spin yes. your records, we put your music out there. Yes. Okay, I might be aging myself, but they, do they still have something called payola where? It's against the law to pay to have your record played. Oh my God, I probably aged myself. There's like this law mm -hmm. that you, it was used to be against the law to pay a DJ to play your record. Oh wow. Because yeah, they didn't want you to monopolize the arena, mm -hmm. but people used to, you know, be like, let me slide you some money mm -hmm. and you play, you play the, oh, someone said it's called tips. tips. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so what do you do when mm -hmm. you have this hot, new artists coming out, mm -hmm. you love their music, mm -hmm. it speaks to your soul, but then you have someone else 
that already has a name for themselves. Their platform is already up there. And you know, if you play that person's music, it'll just catapult you. What do you do? Do you go for the business or do you go for the personal, you know, your personal liking? Hmm. Hmm. Business first. Okay. But um, I like what I like to do is when artists like ask me to spend their music, like regardless of the venue, I'll spend it. Like I'm not one of those uh -huh. DJs who are like, oh, I'm not gonna spend your music. Where you have to only play mainstream because if you're a real DJ, you know how to mix the mainstream with the local music. So right. you can't even tell the person made it or not already. Right. Who taught you how to DJ? Um, his name's DJ Zio. He's an ultra DJ, and I feel like it was pretty cool because he's um, focuses on EDM and house mm -hmm. music, and mm -hmm. he's done like big music festivals and everything. So it was definitely interesting to learn from him, and he also taught me how to be open format. So I don't limit myself just to one genre. I mix mm -hmm. all genres. I play to all crowds. Yeah, I feel like some DJs, you can limit yourself by only playing hip hop music or only playing reggae because you have to please everybody in the room. Yes. How's your transitions? Transitions on point. Listen, are you mm. Caribbean? Mm -mm. Oh Don't my gosh. Me. That is the worst thing. I mean, you, music is a universal language, so mm -hmm. it doesn't matter what you're playing. If the transition is not right, yeah. it just throws everything off. Right. So, in the Haitian culture, mm -hmm. we have, you know, different dances, you know, compa, zouk, you know, different genres. Mm -hmm. And there's this special kind of dance that's called plugue. I don't plugue that much, but it's something <laughs> called plugue, right? Mm -hmm. Listen, why are they clearing their throat? <laughs> um, so there's, there's, there's like DJs where you know if you're going out, I'm aging myself, but you knew mm -hmm. that you're going to have a great time because mm -hmm. when that DJ hits, you know that they're going to transition correctly yes it's all about the blending but let me tell you about plugging mm -hmm. if the transition <laughs> is off mm -hmm. your whole night could be ruined oh god that man who thought he was gonna get you know some cookies <laughs> no listen, nothing canceled that woman who thought you know maybe her you know utilities may be getting a little break this month mm -hmm. nope. nothing and it's all the dj's fault mm. That transition, let me tell you, you it's play, pressure to be a you DJ. play I'm a pivotal lie. role in the it's entertainment pressure. industry. For sure. And I think people take DJs for granted. Mm -hmm. and I definitely then you have feel like DJs, we can be overlooked. Yes, yeah. definitely. Mm -hmm. and then you have DJs who talk too much on the record. Oh no, it's about balance. Even sometimes I be out and I'm like, gosh, can I hear the song? They just be <laughs> talking and I'm like, you know, say a little ad libs, get the crowd hype, but we still vibing too. Listen, can you please let the record play? Yeah. Let the record play. <laughs> so you go by definitely the energy. Whatever mm -hmm. they give you, you give them. Absolutely. Have you ever been um, heckled? Um, yeah, for sure. Yeah? Mm -hmm. What do you do? You just switch to switch play something else. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You gotta be quick. Mm -hmm. because... Put some drops in, you know. Right, right, right. Slip right. another, okay, we good. Right. How's your drop? Drops good. I got a few drops. Same now on the vi you're now vibing with DJ Breezy. That's not how you say it. <laughs> <laughs> There's that cannot one. <laughs> be how you say it. I don't say. I, some of them I don't say. I have okay. like males do them or I get like what's voiceovers. One, what's one that you say? Um, I'm really trying to get her into this DJ. I know. <laughs> They'll be like, hey, yo, DJ Breezy, okay. get me lit, get me lit. There you go. Turn them up with that one. Okay. Hey, yo, DJ Breezy, like that? Mm -hmm. And then what do you say? Give me lit, give me lit. Give me lit, give me lit. Mm -hmm. Okay, see? <coughs> you think DJ Breezy's all soft stepping. <laughs> <coughs> so, what do you, and some DJs, they mm -hmm. have to like build themselves up, right? What do mm -hmm. you do? Do you do anything special to like build yourself up for the moment? Like, oh my God, okay, I have this party, I have to do having a bad day i say just um preparation mm -hmm. as long as i'm prepared like i'll rehearse my sets nights before i'm always in the crib usually organizing my crates setting my cue points no days off so like long as i stay focused and keep working then it's usually smooth walking in and out no days off because if you're always prepared you never have to get ready mm -hmm. boom we'll be right Period. back thanks for saying tv <laughs> Thank you. 
big enough sing so sing. This is the hottest show in the world right now. I'm ready to go, good as good step on when I'm waiting. Même les ou en tour, c'est moi même qui m'en do pardon. Bye bye, au revoir. Va, va, va. Elephant Man represents 5 sur 5 TV. They gave me nothing. Hey, so. Ooh, itching already. <laughs> One of the signs. I'm telling you, I was amazed when some of the things you were saying. Mm. I'm a shorty that's deep in love. Nice. Makes me believe. Woo, child, we talking about 2001, 2002. I'm a show them otherwise. Man, I do music. <laughs> Has anyone seen that movie? <laughs> I'm pleased to hear my music. I'm happy to be here. I know you are. Together we do the work. When I make music, I don't make it for me. I always sing one or two songs as a drummer. It's your girl B. You want more information about our show? Log on to www.sanctusanctv.com. All of our social media platforms are at sanctusanctv. We are here at Express Hookah Lounge with none other than DJ Breezy. Yeah. Such a pivotal role in the entertainment industry, mm -hmm. and we all know that even, let's say, um, like even being a hype person, but they don't call it an MC, right? Mm -hmm. I remember Missy Misdemeanor. Right. Mm -hmm. All she would say was, hey, yo, whoever the name is. And she'll just drop their name. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden the crowd will get hyped because you're like, oh, Missy on this track. Right. It's, it's just so much that we take for granted when we talk about the entertainment industry. And the DJ is basically the director of the night. For sure. So we control the room. You definitely do. So mm -hmm. how do you feel? About little annoying people, I'm just gonna call them people for the sake of FCC rules and regulations, <laughs> tapping you on your shoulder to tell you to play this track or play uh, that track. Sometimes I'm like, okay, it depends, <laughs> you know, but there are people usually at events, they're drinking, you know, they just start hanging out in the booth and then they just want to play the song, play the song, and it's just like, please, like, yeah. Not all the times you're just going to throw in that song request, but it can get annoying for sure. Yeah, you got to respect the um, DJ's artistry too. Mm -hmm. Like, it's definitely an art. Like, I, I tried it once. In my head, I'm a DJ, but really I'm just like the hype person. Like, I'm the person <laughs> that, listen, will make you feel like, oh my God, you, you're really <laughs> on cloud nine doing something, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, at the director's wedding, our director's wedding, um, DJ, one time for DJ Mac, he okay. had to step out and get a plate, and he told me to man, <laughs> to man the booth. He said, mm -hmm. you know, press this button. Yeah, I'm not back. <laughs> press this button right here. Mm -hmm. and I was like, that button right there? He's like, that button right here. So I wanted to be official, so I put on the headset. Hey. I'm like, I want to be official. I want to mm -hmm. hear, oh, my God. Oh, my God. One year is one side. The next year is one. <laughs> I said, what is going on here? I hear mm -hmm. two sounds. I was like, okay, just press that button. Mm -hmm. Press that button. But mm -hmm. I didn't even get a chance to press the button. He came so fast. <laughs> I guess I figured that I was going to mess up the show. Oh, my god! But listen, I have so much respect and admiration for DJs, and not only DJs, but to be a woman in the industry, like, I salute you tremendously. Thank you. Because I can, and then you're a beautiful woman at that, so I can Thank only you. imagine what you go through trying to pave a way and make a name for yourself. Absolutely. And I'm pretty sure that they come at you wrong. Yeah. I can only and know. I just my thing is just remaining professional and I'm big on keeping my face clean like mm -hmm. I'm just here to work and mm -hmm. I just let her know that off rip um, some people like to like flirt or finesse their way in and I don't want to do that I'd rather pay my way step by step oh bon Simon in English good kid <laughs> Your mom, your mom is proud. Yeah, she did good. Thanks. My daughter's an audience. I hope she's taking notes. <laughs> good, good job. So, 
what can we look forward to as far as collabo? Like, would you like to collab with Absolutely. someone? Absolutely. Yeah. Who? Absolutely. Um, or you don't want to drop names? I don't think I want to name drop just yet. I just know that I want to touch the world and wherever music takes me is where it takes me. Like I said, I'm an upcoming DJ, artist, and I model as well. So I'm pretty well-rounded. Um, and I'm about to learn how to produce also. Nice. So, yeah, I multifaceted. I want to know all about it. So how do you monetize DJing? Um, I drop mixtapes. I'm mm. also on the radio, 88.7 to Blaze FM. Look at that. So we do interviews, radio spins, gigs. Like, there's multiple ways to monetize um, Listen, DJing. So the drops, the gigs. I remember growing up where, <laughs> I mean, people would, the DJs would rent the big U-Haul trucks and have the big speakers <laughs> and stuff them in the truck mm -hmm. and literally have house parties. Oh my God, those yes. were the days. Like everything was so safe. Right. Yes, and the crates. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm not even gonna talk about the crates of vinyl <laughs> records. I know I'm aging myself, but I don't care. <laughs> so I was, I was, I was in, I was born during the crates and when we transitioned to the CD books. Mm. You, you know what that is? Yes. Okay, all right. <laughs> Listen, you had to flip the pages to mm -hmm. find the CD and it's like, and you and the DJ would know who moved the CD because mm -hmm. they meticulously put it. Organized. In a, yes. In a Gotta stay organized. For them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gotta stay organized. Six and Sink, we'll be right back. We're here with DJ Breezy here at Express Who Can Lounge. family we're back it's your girl b i'm here with dj breezy listen your first gig walk us through <laughs> it was a cool night yeah you know, just, how was it how was it um it was definitely nerve-wracking i remember my first gig was at oasis hookah lounge oh in coconut grove oh you need to come and express hookah lounge yeah in Hollywood, florida i'm trying to mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, that was my first gig. Um, I didn't know what to expect. I was very nervous. So Coconut Grove, is that, mm, how it's was like, the crowd? It was, it a was mixed like crowd? college kids. Ooh, so yeah, you got UM. Yeah, like UM, mm -hmm, Ooh, FIU. FIU Flomo? Yeah. Wow. So okay. that was big. And it was like also, I didn't know what type of crowd. It was a very diverse crowd. So mm. it was definitely a challenge, but I actually killed it. it ended up being a packed house. And I was like, okay, if I can do this, it's only day one, then imagine what I can do after that. Because you know when you killed something. Yeah. Like, no one has to tell you. It's like, okay, I did that. <laughs> yeah. I did that. So it was pretty cool. It was amazing. And then so I jitters? Really did back. you have any jitters? Oh, for sure. Yeah. I had jitters. Okay. Mm -hmm. But it was everything smooth transition. Yeah. No hiccups. Nah. So if, oh, I was told. So if they were not, it's not plugging anymore. I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm, I'm an old fart. It's called Gouillard. Mm -hmm. So if they were gooying, <laughs> say gooya. I'm teaching you. Gooya. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so if they were gooyading or gooying, I should mm -hmm. say, if they were gooying, then it would be smooth. Mm -hmm. Like they would get some dessert. Yeah, they would get some dessert. Because you had no hookup. Yeah. Yeah. That's nice, thing. smooth night, good vibes. Good That's vibes. what I want. Great energy. I mm -hmm. love it. So 
as far as your other entities of entertainment, you yes. also have what in store for us? So I also, well, I'm dropping my first single on my birthday, which is July 22nd. Ooh. That's called Unbothered. Um, you are I, very unbothered, too. <laughs> like your <husband. laughs> I started making music probably the beginning of this year. I write my own music. I have my peers that are producers. I like to keep it, like, within in the family, family for sure. It. So I'm always like, send me your beats. Like, where do you cook in? Like, nice. supporting everybody because everybody wins. Everybody has a role. So working on just releasing music, mixtapes. I want to put together an all-female cypher as well. Ooh. No one's really doing that. So I have a lot of plans in my so brain up here. So the all-female cypher, would it be, you know what? Don't tell us too much. <laughs> that We're going to look forward to it because I don't okay. want it. I don't want you to put it out there and like, oh, yes, let me use this idea. That's right. a great idea, by the way. Thank you. Okay, I wish you much luck, much luck. Thank you. So if you couldn't be doing DJing, what else would you be doing? Because I know you you have your hand in different pots. Yeah. Um, I'm yeah. also into, I'm in the beauty industry. Okay. I'm an esthetician. So that's something else that I'm into. Um, I'm really into entrepreneurship being my own boss. Nice. I don't want to work for anybody. Nice. Um, I want to start now while I'm young. Right. <clears throat> I also want to get into stocks and real estate, different planting seeds in different, um, just in different, different areas. areas. Nice. Absolutely. Love it. Mm -hmm. So your mom's pretty happy. Yeah, mom's happy. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Dad's happy. Each time I'm like calling her with good news and like different accomplishments, she's just like, just keep going. At Love first it. it was like, I don't, I don't know. know about you. Yeah. <laughs> She's in real know, estate, baby. you know. She was like all into like going to school and I'm like definitely like education and all that, but my heart is set into certain areas and I know that my dreams, my goals, they're gonna be reached. So might as well just invest all my energy and time into that. I love it. I love it when people have the courage to go against the grain mm -hmm. and step outside of the norm or the normalcy of society's, you know, domain because we, we, we stun our growth. We stun our growth when we play it safe, right? right? And I love the way this generation is not afraid to really spread their wings and go against the grain. That's pretty dope. And I applaud you for that. Thank you. And in your gut, if you, mm -hmm. if you feel like, okay, this is the right track, and you, you ask, you know, for spirit of discernment, mm -hmm. ask for, you know, that discerning spirit to just guide you. Yes, listen. I'm very spiritual too, so listen. absolutely. You won't have any issues whatsoever. Thank you. DJ Breezy in the building here at Express Hookah yes. Lounge. We'll be right back in just a few. Thanks for saying family, we're back. I'm your girl B, we're here with DJ Breezy. Yup. Listen, oh my God, I love your energy. It's so calming and peaceful. <laughs> and you also said that you're a spiritual person. So yes. what do you do to, I guess, align your chakras <laughs> or to keep yourself calm, cool, and collect yes. in this crazy world that we're living in? Well, I do believe in crystal healing. Okay. So I have my crystals. I sage, I'm big on protecting my energy and my peace. Um, I cleanse myself in the beach. I do different things. I wear my bracelet every day. It has evil eyes. I'm just big on, um, you know, protecting my energy and my peace. You have to be, you have to definitely do your inner work before you want to put anything out into this world. Absolutely. So that's definitely something I realized probably in the past six months and I've been working on and it definitely makes a difference in like all aspects of your life. If that's so responsible of you because your energy is, fueling so many people and if you're not right which I strongly believe in like the music we listen to the things that we watch 
um, people around us, I feel like mm-hmm. that definitely um, <coughs> transposes into us. So Absolutely. if we don't, if we aren't careful, mm-hmm. we, we, we sometimes we feel down and we feel depressed and we don't even know why. It's like mm-hmm. out of nowhere, but it's like, no, you're just around someone or you just listen yes. to something. You just watch something. You just heard something. Right. That just, you know. And mental health, to too, you. is definitely big not only in the industry, but just in life in general. And I feel like that's something more people, especially influencers and people that have names like across the world, they definitely need to speak more about that. And And then don't wait till something happens. Right. In our culture, it's unfortunate. Like we wait till something major happens. Mm -hmm. Then we're like, oh my God, I gotta get help. Then you wanna say (laughs) something. Right. Yeah. No, it's okay to like, um, personally, I, I go every week. Mm-hmm. And I said, wow, I didn't realize how fulfilling this is. And it doesn't mean that, you know, something major had to happen in the course of your life mm-hmm. in order for you to go. And that's mm-hmm. something that was very, it's very difficult, even for, you know, my culture. I'm of Haitian descent. Mm-hmm. And we think that therapy is you're, you're cuckoo, you're crazy. Mm-hmm. Like, it has to be something wrong with you before you can go to therapy. When right. And we don't realize that we're carrying so much trauma around. Right. Absolutely. You got to release that. Yeah. Definitely yeah. got to release that. Yeah. And energy is also everything. So I believe like you align yourself with the right people. You surround yourself with people that you aspire to be. Never be stagnant. Just keep pushing yourself. And there's no reason why you won't be great. Yes. And the tongue. The oh, yes. The tongue, right? S- tongue is very powerful. Oh, gosh. Our thoughts. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yes. So do you journal? Yes, I do. Oh, nice. Mm-hmm. Listen, pretty dope. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, you know what? I'm, 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 I'm not impressed, but I'm just proud because mm-hmm. oftentimes it's very difficult to reach someone at a young age and for you to have this much knowledge and this wealth of knowledge and for you to have this role that you're, you know, pushing back out to the universe is pretty dope. Thank you. Good work. Keep up the great work. Thank you. I'm going to transition a little bit to food. Okay. What kind of foods you like? Hmm. I love to eat. I really like seafood. Okay. Me Do you too. like seafood? I love seafood. Yeah. I love food. Period. <laughs> yeah, food, period. I've just gotten, I've just stopped with the red meats, but okay. food, oof. I recently got put onto Haitian food. Ooh, how the do you like it? The so Give fire. Any? Welcome. Oh my gosh. Welcome. So, oxtail and goat was the most difficult part to get out of my diet. Mm. Yes. So you, you haven't tried goat? No. Oh my gosh. I need goat. To. Amazing. I listen, I feel like I say this every time on the show. Tasso cabrit. Say tasso cabrit. Tasso cabrit. Oh, yes. <laughs> so tasso cabrit is like the basically the pork, the griot version mm-hmm. of goat. It's fried goat. Mm-hmm. But if you go to the person that makes it right, because goat is very gamey, like if they don't clean it right, mm-hmm. it's a problem. Oh, but if God. they clean it right, oh my gosh, and season it, mm. oh my gosh. We have, our seasoning, our seasoning is called epis. Say epis. Epis. Epis, yeah. So <laughs> it's very, very delicious. Okay. And that was the most difficult thing that I had to get out of my diet, mm. because technically it's, I guess, somewhat red meat. So, mm. but Listen, you have to try it. You haven't transitioned yet. Yes. Listen, enjoy it. Your palate is going to be so grateful for it. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) I'm on it. Yes, you got to be on it. Listen, Thanks for Sank TV, we are here with a DJ Breezy here at Express Hookah Lounge. We'll be right back.
Thanks for saying TV. We reached the final segment of our show. Aww. DJ Breezy in the house here at Express Hookah Lounge. <laughs> She's a DJ, so I like to do that. I like to go in character. I feel like you do that. I feel mm-hmm. like she transformed. DJ Breezy in the house. Y'all, show me some love. Yes. <laughs> yes. I need to bring you in the booth with me. <laughs> Where do you see yourself in the next five years? In the next five years, I see myself with a couple of residencies at some hot clubs out here in Miami. Nice. I see myself DJing at Rolling Loud, mm. Lollapalooza. I'm on, I'm on the festival waves. Yes. I definitely see myself coming up, and I'm also going to own my own recording studio as well. Love it. Yeah. Listen, we're speaking that into the universe. Yes. It shall be done. It will. It is written. <laughs> Listen, I second that. I put a stamp of approval on that. Okay. Y'all hear it, universe, right? Blessings, <laughs> blessings. Yes. I am blessed. I'm sorry, I'm on that I DJ. I am blessed hey. every day. <laughs> 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 so, we got the record studio in the building mm-hmm. coming in the next five years. Lollapalooza. We have a whole bunch of just partying, great energy, great vibes. Yes. What do you have to tell the audience, especially the little girls who are watching you, mm-hmm. or even the older women, who would like <laughs> to be a DJ, and in their mind, they like, chicka, chicka, DJing. <laughs> what word of advice would you tell them? Um, don't stop. Keep get going. It, get it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yes, get it. But don't stop and do what like do what you want to do. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't do anything. Um and always it's good to be uncomfortable. Never get too comfortable cuz I realize that I do my best when I step out of my comfort zone. Yeah. The times that I go into my gig so nervous and shaken up and like anxious be the times that I do the best. Yes. So That's, that's what I'm I have to say. Matt. Mm-hmm. DJ Breezy you yeah. know, give me, give, give, give me a little line. Give me a line. Your drop. <laughs> give me a drop real quick. She go DJ Breezy on the ones and twos. Let's get it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to Stank TV. We had a pleasure of speaking with DJ Breezy. She was here in the building here at Express Hookah Lounge. <laughs> you guys be sure to show Express Hookah Lounge some love here in Hollywood, Florida. You can check out DJ Breezy on media <laughs> and social platforms at DJ Breezy. Breezy. Spell it out. B-R-I-I-Z-Y. B R. I I Z Y. There you go. Mm-hmm. Breathe. Cold in here. <laughs> Listen, Sink to Sink, if you want more information about us, log on to www.sinkstosinktv.com. I'm your girl, B. You can find me on Instagram at B Longchamp. On all social media platforms, we're at Sink to Sink TV. Till next time. Till next time. Stay blessed.